Yellowstone in northwest Wyoming, land of geysers, mountains, and lakes, is also sitting atop a super volcano. It could destroy the United States as we know it. The largest volcano of all time just cracked open the Earth. Imagine a force so immense that it can crack open the very Earth beneath our feet. Well, hold on to your seats because we're about to dive into the story of the largest volcano of all time. Located in a place of unparalleled natural beauty, this volcanic wonder has recently revealed its true power. Its sheer size and extraordinary eruptions have earned it a place in the history books, captivating the hearts of scientists and adventurers alike. But what makes this volcano so special? How did it come into existence? And why is it causing such a stir in the scientific community? Today, we'll answer all these burning questions and more. Yellowstone National Park, a true marvel of nature, encompasses an astonishingly large area of nearly 2.2 million acres. To put that into perspective, it is one of the largest national parks in the entire United States. The sheer expanse of this protected area is awe-inspiring as it sprawls across three different states, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. This means that Yellowstone's natural beauty and diverse ecosystems extend their reach far and wide, captivating visitors from all corners of the country. From the majestic peaks of the Rocky Mountains to the sweeping valleys and winding rivers, Yellowstone's landscape is a tapestry of wonders waiting to be uncovered. We'll witness the breathtaking grandeur of its iconic geysers, such as the famous Old Faithful, erupting in a spectacular display of raw power and natural beauty. But Yellowstone's allure goes beyond its geothermal marvels. Vast meadows and forests teeming with diverse flora and fauna beckon us to explore further. The park is home to an incredible array of wildlife, including majestic herds of bison, graceful elk, elusive wolves, and even the elusive grizzly bear. We'll have the privilege of witnessing these incredible creatures in their natural habitat, capturing their untamed essence and understanding the delicate balance of this unique ecosystem. Scientists have verified that there is an ongoing expansion of a geological disturbance, leading to significant concerns regarding its potential repercussions on the most geologically active regions worldwide. The revelation has sparked widespread astonishment and discussion within the scientific community. In the western region of the United States, specifically within Yellowstone National Park, there exists a substantial dormant entity. There has been a remarkable period of dormancy for an immense presence for an astonishing 70,000 years, broken up by sporadic movements. The potential consequences of its eventual awakening are unparalleled in terms of strength and scale. The entity in question is none other than the supervolcano situated beneath Yellowstone National Park. This expansive area encompasses wilderness and forest stretching across Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. Deep in the northwestern region of Wyoming, within the expansive borders of Yellowstone, lies a geological wonder that captivates scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. This remarkable phenomenon is none other than the Yellowstone Volcano. Let us venture into the intricate details of this awe-inspiring spectacle, peeling back the layers of its geological makeup to reveal its fascinating secrets. Beneath the serene and picturesque surface of Yellowstone, there lies a fiery core, a testament to the immense power that resides within our planet. This core is comprised of molten and partially molten rock known as magma. The magma, a seething concoction of molten minerals, is the lifeblood of the volcano, continuously flowing and shaping the landscape over thousands of years. Within Yellowstone, the magma finds its home in a vast reservoir known as a magma chamber. This chamber, situated approximately 6 to 10 kilometers beneath the park's surface, acts as a colossal cauldron, holding the molten rock in its fiery embrace. As the magma fills the chamber, a remarkable phenomenon unfolds. The ground above experiences swelling and elevation, a subtle yet undeniable sign of the volcano's awakening. Over time, however, the fiery magma gradually cools and transforms into solid rock. As this metamorphosis occurs, the land undergoes a fascinating process called subsidence. In simpler terms, the ground sinks back down, adapting to the changing nature of the volcano's underground dynamics. 
It is a dance between creation and destruction, as the mighty force that once uplifted the land now relinquishes its hold, allowing the surface to settle. A dedicated group of volcanologists has been consistently and attentively observing the volcanic behavior within Yellowstone National Park for many years, with their monitoring efforts dating back as far as 1923. Through their diligent measurements, it has been determined that the ground has undergone a gradual and noteworthy elevation of approximately 25 centimeters. The extended duration of gradual upward movement has prompted numerous scientists to contemplate the likelihood of an eruption happening in the near future. Naturally, there is substantial apprehension regarding the potential strength of such an eruption, considering its historical occurrences and possible future outcomes. The recent increase in subterranean activity has stimulated conversations concerning the potential scale of an eruption. In the last 10 years, the volcano has exhibited an extraordinary rate of ascent, generating additional curiosity and conjecture. Yellowstone National Park encounters a significant number of earthquakes each year, with an average of around 1,000 to 3,000. The majority of these seismic activities go unnoticed by the general public, typically measuring a magnitude of three or lower. Nonetheless, these tremors serve as crucial information for scientists, offering valuable clues about the pace at which the magma chamber is evolving. Underneath the park, there is a continuous process of magma replenishment. In the event that the frequency and strength of these tremors experience a notable surge, it could suggest a recent influx of new magma into the reservoir. However, despite the heightened seismic activity, scientists affirm that the movements within the magma chamber do not present an immediate danger. Nevertheless, due to the inherent constraints of human observation and analysis over the course of Yellowstone's existence, accurately comprehending the precise mechanisms involved remains a formidable task. As a result, geologists encounter challenges when attempting to predict the future trajectory of Yellowstone. However, through the study of the volcano's distant history, researchers have unearthed valuable knowledge. Geological evidence indicates that Yellowstone has experienced three colossal eruptions within the past two million years. Volcanologist analysis has determined that these eruptions occurred at intervals of roughly 600,000 to 800,000 years. The most recent notable incident, estimated to have happened approximately 640,000 years ago, had a profound impact within the park and extended across thousands of kilometers in the surrounding vicinity. Each of these previous eruptions released massive volumes of volcanic ash, gases, magma, and other materials, creating a wide-reaching layer that covered a significant portion of the continental United States. Remarkably, the remnants of the volcanic substances have been unearthed as far away as Louisiana, showcasing the far-reaching impact of these eruptions. Subsequent to each eruption, the Yellowstone supervolcano underwent a dramatic implosion, devouring everything in its vicinity, including trees and mountains. This resultant depression is recognized as a caldera, a term frequently used to describe the Yellowstone supervolcano. The creation of a caldera as a result of such an eruption would present a significant natural hazard within the confines of Yellowstone. Scientists assert that the magnitude of the most recent eruption in Yellowstone surpassed the infamous 1980 eruption on Mount St. Helens by an astounding factor of 1,000. The eruption on Mount St. Helens claimed the lives of 56 individuals, caused extensive devastation across hundreds of square kilometers in Washington and Oregon, and led to the unfortunate loss of numerous animal life. During the eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano in ancient times, a catastrophic eruption column was unleashed, consisting of searing ash, molten rock, and lethal gases. This towering column soared to altitudes of thousands of meters, casting a dark veil of shadow over a substantial portion of the continent. The eruption also triggered the horrifying movement of pyroclastic flows, which are rapid streams of scorching hot dry rock fragments and gases. The pyroclastic flows surged through the area with astonishing velocity, devastating everything in their wake. Furthermore, magma erupted from the ground, leaving behind a desolate landscape extending for kilometers. Even today, remnants of the colossal eruption can be observed within the boundaries of the Yellowstone caldera. This expansive caldera stretches across a width of 50 kilometers and a length of 70. Evidence of the eruption's dense volcanic material can be witnessed in a designated region called the Lava Creek Tuft. This expansive park covers an impressive area of 3,472 square miles, including the caldera. Within this remarkable expanse, a plethora of geological wonders await. The park showcases a vibrant array of geysers and bubbling pools, whose captivating existence is attributed to the dynamic interaction between magma and intensely heated fluids swirling beneath the park's surface. 
One of the notable geological marvels in the region is called the Norris Geyser Basin, located towards the northwest of the caldera. This area is renowned for its extensive collection of over 500 hydrothermal features. These dynamic geysers and pools serve as proof of ongoing volcanic activity. However, there is an even more significant transformation underway in this particular region. Over a period exceeding 20 years, a vast expanse larger than the city of Chicago, situated around the basin, has experienced intermittent swelling and contraction. Deciphering the exact reasons beyond these fluctuations within the hyperactive volcanic region of Yellowstone presents a complex undertaking. Scientists delve into an extensive archive of satellite, base radar, and GPS data collected over decades to gain deeper insight into the subterranean processes unfolding underneath the Norris Geyser Basin. Through the analysis of surface transformations, scientists have constructed models to illustrate the potential activities occurring beneath the surface. Their research revealed that in the late 1990s, a reservoir of magma infiltrated beneath Norris, causing the enclosed fluids to effervesce and navigate through the complex network of rocks above. When encountering obstacles, the fluids experience resistance and pressure built up, resulting in the uplift of the land and subsequent rise of the ground. Conversely, when the fluids discovered alternative pathways for escape, the pressure was relieved, causing deflation and the subsequent sinking of the ground. It is important to note that if you are enjoying the content thus far, please consider subscribing to our channel and watching our previous videos for continued amazement. Steamboat Geyser, located in the dynamic Yellowstone area, exemplifies the remarkable and unpredictable changes that take place in this fiery region. Rising to a height of 400 feet, this geyser has a history of frequent eruptions, sometimes occurring within a few days and other times with intervals as long as 50 years. Nevertheless, starting in March 2018, Steamboat Geyser has defied conventional expectations by erupting with surprising frequency, sometimes even once a week. In the year 2018, it achieved an astounding record of 32 eruptions, only to be surpassed in the subsequent year with a remarkable 48. The calmness of Norris Geyser Basin was abruptly disrupted in March 2014, when a significant earthquake measuring a magnitude of 4.9 struck the area, abruptly halting the ongoing uplift phenomenon. After the occurrence of the earthquake, the ground in the area started to undergo continuous and gradual changes, with a pattern of sinking and rising. However, in early 2019, a phase of subsidence began, and presently, the basin's elevation is approximately five inches higher than it was in the year 2000. The intrusion of magma, which had a significant impact on these geological changes, occurred between 1996 and 2004, during the uplift period. As the magma gradually cooled, the dissolved fluids within it were able to release, leading to a decrease in internal pressure within a magma chamber. This deflationary process can be likened to air escaping from a leaky balloon, ultimately causing the ground to sink. From 2005 to 2013, the persistent efforts of the escaping fluid led to its recurrent trapping beneath layers of rock, resulting in irregular and unpredictable uplift of the ground. The cycle of magnetism and hydrothermal activity in this phenomenon has posed challenges for scientists in comprehending and documenting it fully. Michael Polin, the head scientist at the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, emphasized that while the new model offers a plausible hypothesis, it is crucial to acknowledge the ongoing uncertainty. Apart from the presence of magma, there are other potential sources of fluid, such as heavy snowfall in recent years, which may accumulate underground and intermittently escape during the breathing-like motions of the landscape. This possibility emphasizes the complexity of the situation and the need for additional research. The research team suspects the presence of fluids derived from magma near the surface of Norris Geyser Basin. Across the region, one can discover hydrothermal explosion craters that date back thousands of years. These craters are created when pressurized hot water acts as a geological pressure cooker, vigorously depressurizing and rapidly boiling into steam of the surrounding rock fractures. Regrettably, the prediction of such events is exceedingly challenging. The intricate system of underground channels and pathways within the rock contributes to the intricate nature of the situation, continuously undergoing subtle fluctuations that can impact the probability of an eruption. Although the likelihood of further eruptions is uncertain, the research team does not propose restricting access to the area for visitors. Let us know your thoughts on the comment section below, and please don't forget to like, share, and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.